to the Friday Night Blitz, week six, if you could believe that. Put your seatbelts on, we're ready to go. <laughs> ready to go. We got 18 games on tap for you tonight. Should be a lot of fun. Week six, Friday Night Blitz starts right now. Next. Friday Night Blitz is sponsored by your local Fairway Food Store. Welcome in, everybody, to the Friday Night Blitz. As we said, week six of the high school football season is upon us. Two-thirds of the way through. It, just, it, it, does, it does go fast, but I think what's cool about tonight is that brisk mm -hmm. weather. I mean, that's when the real shooters come out. Yeah, that's right. Finally, uh, exactly. Uh, fighting for position in our district standings. A yes. couple of big district matchups for you tonight, including a showdown between North Polk and Norwalk, as well as Bondurant for our facing that's Ballard. Okay. All four in District 8. Yeah. It's going to be tough. The Warriors, Blue Jays, and Bombers all tied atop of those standings, plus plenty more. Yeah, it's I be mean, a lot of fun. well, when you look at this time of the year, too, you're trying to position, you read scores, you're trying mm -hmm. to figure out, now you got to play that Bond Ramp Ballard is, a, is an interesting <laughs> one, too. Yeah, exactly. It's just going to uh, just ramp up each and every week. It's yep. going to be a lot of fun. Absolutely. But first, let's go ahead and start with our game of the week. Clark Osceola and Des Moines Christian both kicked off District 8 play with a win, but in the standings with them to a top ranked PCM Monroe. So winning a district will be a challenge. Very much. <laughs> Next best thing to do, getting in that large bid and then making their cases. Yes. Well, they need a win tonight. Clark already 3-2 and two this season. The last time they won three games, back in 2012. Wow, it's been a while. But been the band's while always while. good. The band's the always band, yeah, good. Band's always, band's always good. Des Moines Christian, similar boat for them, out to a 4-1 and one start with a fresh move to 2A this season. Let's go out and get the you the highlights. They got the Blitz Mojo. They got the Blitz they Mojo. Do. Yeah. They do. The well, Indians coming out on the field focused. Now, they weren't too happy about my pick this morning on Blitz Game Day, <laughs> so they wanted to show me up. Meanwhile, they have to tame a potent Lion offense. We move on to the first quarter. Indians going for it on fourth down, but that snap is fumble. So the Lions quickly on it. DMC with the short field. Jackson wearing flicks it to Seth Jewell on the option. Jewell dives to the pylon, but he is just a yard short. But that's going to be easy money for Waring. Next play, Waring boy, fights is huge. Yeah, yeah. Fighting his way across the end zone for the first score of the game. The Lions ahead, 7-0. Clark has an answer. Riley Demina, check this out. Does a complete 360. Was that intentional or not? <laughs> Either way, he hits Amani Fry on the stride. Fry gets some running room and he's eventually brought down near the 15. Check out the play call here. The Wildcat option has the Lions fooled. That's Chris Carson with the rock and also the score. Point after is missed, so it's 7-6 Des Moines Christian. And here is that man again. Again, Jackson Waring rolling out of the pocket. Just so crisp. It's calm. So calm. Fires a dart to Jewel for the touchdown. The 10th ranked Lions roll on to the victory. 63 to 30 Ooh, over Clark. Looking good. Waring and the boys. Absolutely. All right. What do we got? Uh, we got Pleasantville. Oh, we do. We do have Pleasantville. We were, are we down? We guys, we went down there tonight, huh? See, I'm so focused we did. That's on, you. On, on just what I'm doing. You want to so, take these away? Jungling, yeah. He, you know, Pella Chris, General Jungling's so special. And Noah Trimer is just a kid that makes plays. He runs with it. He gets forced out of bounds here. The mm -hmm. Trojans trying to handle him. And then he, he, when you have a guy like Trimer, healthy or not, you just keep feeding him the football. Of course. That's all you got to do. Trojans defense, though, they're hanging in there. Jungling decides to make a run here again. Puts it in the end zone. Nathan De Bruyne will add the extra point. Boy, Pella Christian shuts out my Trojans tonight. Trojans going through a transition year. What's now. Just, happening? Just buck up down there in Marion County. They'll be all right. All but right. that's a very good Pella Christian team. Coach Cax got him on a roll. Yeah, very good Pella Christian team indeed. 2015 was the last time the Interstate 35 Roadrunners found themselves in the postseason party. Well, now we're just two games into district play after tonight, so still a lot of moving and shaking left to be done. But this team looks like they have what it takes to really make some noise they in 1A. Let's head out to a chilly Roadrunner Stadium. Check this out. Student section braving the cold weather. Binger, I would tell you what, it was freezing. You think there. so? You need to toughen up. Yeah, I, yeah, you're right. I'm a Texas <laughs> boy, though. I-35 ahead 21-7 to seven in the second quarter. Short sleeves, Tiger Hawks threatening. Brady Berkey runs in the end zone, fumbles the ball, but 
Lucky enough, he recovers. Oh, yeah. Close call. Point after his miss, so it's 21-13. I-35 returning the kickoff. Nobody wants to field it, so Jack Smith decides, what the heck? I'll do it. Turns out to be a pretty good idea. Huge pickup leading to this. Now, I missed the beginning of this, I'll admit, but didn't miss this. Yeah. Richie Griglione makes, uh, looks like a man among boys here. <laughs> Stiff's arm, he hops <laughs> his way on one foot. Deciding what to do there. No, I'm yeah. just going to pull him in. Incredible. 28-13 yeah. Road Runners. And then they got the fake on fourth down. Anytime you get the fake, you got to love that. I-35 executed, executes it perfectly, picks up three yards before the half, eventually leading to this, a field goal in the dwindling seconds of the second quarter. Roadrunners, they run away with the win, 51 to 13. Well, they're looking tough in that district yeah, for sure. Exactly. Collins Maxwell. Ooh, they got a tall task. Yeah, very tall task. We're going to pick this one up in the first quarter with Gladbrook. Ryan Beck already up 6 nothing. This is on fourth and six. The Spartans have the ball as they try to swing the pass, but it's sniffed out by the Rebels. Junior Eli Feed turnover on downs. The ensuing possession for the Rebels, it only takes a couple of plays for senior Colton Clark to take it 50 plus. He adds a nice back juke that would make Reggie Bush proud. Yeah. That makes it 14 zip. It's either feed, Thady. It just depends feed on if you're in Gladbrook or Ryan back. There you go. No, it exactly. really does. Two actually. point conversion. Rebels with the ball again as sophomore Keegan Grizz, uh, Grizzking. Yeah. There we go. There you go. Rolls out. Play action pass. Spartans Riley, Scott, and Brett Livesay are there for the sack. And just over two minutes left in the first, as we just saw it, the Rebels would strike again, this time converting on fourth and 11. Grizzking delivers the bomb to. Thetty? Thetty? Yeah, yeah Thetty. Yeah. Thetty. There we go. Let's pull up the final score here. I'll have to ask Ross. I know him. That's his last name. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, we're going to move on. Uh, we got A. Weva. Weva Westside, West yep. Okay, there we go. Opening drive for the Rockets. Keegan Simmons connects with Derek Osser for the 21 yard touchdown. They're up seven to zip. Mustangs looking to answer on their first drive. But. The ball is going to be knocked out of the runner's hands. It's recovered by the Rockets. Ben Volgan. Yeah. Adwiba going to go for it on the field goal on fourth down. This one's going to be blocked. Yeah, sometimes you don't get that. Good good shooting right there. Yeah, exactly. We'll find that keeps the score seven zip. But the Rockets would strike again as Simmons on the quarterback draw goes in from 18 yards out. After one quarter of play, Adwiba up 13 to zip. Wow, Weaver, yeah. They run away with it. Yeah. 47. 14 Weaver. Well, in that eight player, you know, their their 